You know, there's no doubt that modern technology has changed the face of ice fishing forever. Today's anglers have access to incredible tools that help them find and catch more fish on every trip. A central component of every ice angler's arsenal is a powerful chirp sonar GPS unit, like this Humminbird Helix 7. Humminbird has just introduced a brand new shuttle that makes the entire Helix series more powerful, portable, and expandable than ever. And I'm gonna show you how to build it. And as long as you can scrape up a Phillips screwdriver in just a few minutes of your time, you'll be able to build the new Helix shuttle and get back on the ice. Now, the first thing you'll wanna do, of course, is unpack all the materials and get all of your components laid out in some sort of organized fashion. Now, before we begin, let's talk about the fasteners that you have. In your parts, you have three different sizes of screws. We're gonna to refer to those as large, medium, and small. You'll also find some washers. The washers go on some of the small screws in some of the assembly steps. You also have some rubber washers that are gonna go on the gimbal knobs that eventually we'll use to attach the fish finder to the shuttle. First, with the curved edge of the base facing toward you, insert the handle into the base. When you do this, you'll want the metal bracket that will eventually hold the power switch to be on the right-hand side of the handle. Attach the handle to the base with two large screws, one on each side of the handle. Next, let's turn our attention to the power switch and the power harness, a component that has a number of very convenient features. Now, one of these is that in addition to power connections for the Helix unit, it also has power connections for up to three accessories, like Mega Live or Mega 360. Also, each of the power leads in the harness has its own individual inline fuse, which provides protection for all of the components that you have attached to the battery. Now, from the front side of the shuttle, insert the power switch into the metal bracket that is on the right-hand side of the handle. Then, from the back side of the shuttle, attach the power harness to the metal bracket using two small screws. Now, find the gimbal, which will attach the fish finder to the shuttle. From the front side of the shuttle, insert the gimbal into the shuttle's handle. Then, turn the shuttle around and connect the gimbal to the handle using two medium-sized screws. Let's turn our attention to the front battery cover. That's the one with the small rubber grommet towards the bottom. The front battery cover is going to slide into the front side of the shuttle and sit in the molded groove on the base. The front battery cover has two small Velcro tabs you'll insert those two Velcro tabs into the two holes in the molded groove. Now, slide that front battery cover onto the front side of the shuttle. And when doing so, make sure that the base of the front battery cover is sitting flush with that molded groove on the shuttle base. Remember that those two small Velcro tabs should be extending through the holes in the base. Attach the front battery cover to the shuttle using five small screws with washers. You'll use two screws with washers on either side of the front battery cover, as well as one on the top, which will help to connect the battery cover to the metal bracket holding the power switch. Now we're in a position to talk about providing power to the fish finder that's gonna be carried in the new shuttle. Now to do this, you'll need the battery, which should be charged ahead of time, You'll need the little rubber mat that it sits on, and you'll need the Velcro straps that help to hold the battery in the shuttle. This is also the right time to install the accessory charging harness. This will allow you to charge the battery without disconnecting anything from it, and also to use the fish finder while you're charging the battery. Begin by feeding the Velcro straps up through the base. Use the two holes closest to the middle for a small battery, and the two holes closer to the outside for a larger battery. Set the rubber mat onto the tray, and then place the battery on top of the rubber mat. 
press down on the battery for a nice snug fit. Now, use the Velcro straps to secure the battery in place. Be sure to pass the Velcro straps beneath the charging harness. Then, find the red and black power leads for the fish finder and connect them to the open terminals. Now let's turn our attention to the back battery cover, which, like the front cover, has a couple of Velcro straps attached to it. The back battery cover will slide into the molded groove on the back side of the base. The two Velcro straps will pass through the two holes in the bottom of this groove. Once the back battery cover is seated correctly, it should fit snugly within that groove in the base. Once the back battery cover is seated, flip the shuttle over and join all of those Velcro straps together. Now, open the battery door and join the back battery cover to the shuttle handle. You'll use two small screws with washers, one on either side. With the battery door open, find the power cable that will attach to your helix. Then, pass the fitting for that cable through the fabric enclosure that leads out toward the front of the shuttle. Take the fitting for the transducer cable and pass it through the rubber grommet in the front battery cover. Work that fitting up toward the top of the shuttle and then pass it through that same fabric enclosure. Now we're finally ready to mount the fish finder. Begin by adding the rubber washers to the two gimbal knobs. Attach the fish finder to the gimbal on the front of the shuttle and secure in place using the two gimbal knobs. Connect the power cable and the transducer cable to the corresponding ports on the back of the helix. The two cables are held in place by a snug friction fit. Attach the transducer cup to the front of the shuttle base using a single large screw. Wrap the excess cable around the cup and store the transducer inside when not in use. Finally, Attach the rod holders to either side of the shuttle handle using the remaining large screws. And now you're ready to attack the ice with your Humminbird Helix 7, installed securely within its shuttle. No matter which technological advances you depend on, your Humminbird Helix 7 provides you with an array of portable, powerful, reliable, and expandable tools that will help you find and catch more fish on every trip.